just I'm just weeping. <laughs> I can Our ladies on Murder Hobo Inc are the grossest people on the planet. Hey. That's yeah. god. That is just a culinary nightmare. I'm just saying it. <laughs> saying it for the record. That is a culinary nightmare. Yeah, uh, folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard uh, Murder Hobo Inc. Our cacophony edition, a.k.a. our soap opera. But uh, it hasn't been a soap opera for a couple episodes, and it's not going to be a soap opera tonight. It's going to be a one-shot. Uh, these fifth-level adventurers are daring do and hanging out in cacophony and getting paid and getting laid and all that other hey. happy shit. Uh, well, Giorgio, somewhere Giorgio is there. Giorgio and uh, Francois. And Francois, uh, remember those? <laughs> uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. True. Take a look at our uh, YouTube archive uh, if you want to buy our cool stuff. Uh, links down there if you want to join us in Discord. Links down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us for one of our one shots or our talk show, M Hobo Inc. over on Twitter. Over on Gmail, hit us up, let us know. We will get you in there. Won't get you in there Saturday because Saturday is campaign. And as we all know, Carol is just frothing at the bit for this one because they're going to her home. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that may or may not kill these guys tonight. And, of course, oddfishgames.com if your game stinks. Uh, add a little nice smell to it. Uh, and they are going to have another How to RPG with Your Cat first weekend of november we will go ahead and spew that data for us so that you can sign up it's free all you got to do is sign up on to the cast uh <laughs> you know i always start with the ladies because i'm nice but eh, i don't feel up to it today david who are you who are you playing yeah i am david i'm regular here on our thursday night show of cacophony I've been on a lot of times on BTR Tuesday show, and uh, if you saw the show last week for Murder Hobo, I was Lorock, the Wear Gator. So you were Wally Gator. Wally Gator, yeah. Uh, next up, Caitlin. Caitlin, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? I don't have a name. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Caitlin. I'm playing Daphne the Tiefling Paladin, as usual, for Thursday, and I have not been on anything else lately except this, and then my schedule's going to be a lot crazier, because now you guys, after what, next week, will see me in random rooms. Yay! You will uh, You will be in the Ozarks. Did you watch Deliverance like we told you to? No. Aw, come on. Aw, come on. <laughs> I put on Mulan, though. Yeah, Mulan is close to Deliverance. I think oh, after yeah, you yeah. see, you can do a compare contrast. Uh, finally, normally behind uh, the role, she's behind the role today, and she's in front of the camera tonight, and it is Carrie. Carrie, who are you? And make it long, because I'm going to go check on the other laptop. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm Carrie, and I'll be playing Camille, a wizard necromancer. And David, when you called it BTR, it makes me think of a serial killer BTK, so... Oh okay. yeah, but that's okay. If that's it's... okay. BTR men. I was like, BRB is it like that. <laughs> no, when you say BTK, I have a friend that's a heavy metal singer, and that's one of their songs is BTK. <laughs> well, the <laughs> producer was on the ball, but I was not. So, that being said, let's go ahead and give you the recap here. Uh, if you were paying attention at the title card, you know that uh, I have given them zero clues, zero fucking knowledge. They have no idea what's going to go on tonight. I have warned each one of them that. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. I just don't know uh, how it's going to ride out because I honestly haven't tried something like this. So I'm kind of curious if I can pull it off. Uh, that being said, uh, Princess Viscata has sent each of you over a gift basket of uh, delicacies from her homeland, wow. the Caliphate, uh, as well as 100 gold coins of her own currency wow. pay back your generosity and not letting her get her ass kicked in uh <laughs> that being in. said yes her ship pushed in. she she sent here. us the the large toblerone or something like that <laughs> <laughs> you got the large triangular toblerone and uh where's that cheese always from 
What cheese? Um, the small Cracker Barrel cheese. Oh. Ew, oh. No. <laughs> and the strawberries from uh, Hickory Farms. Oh. No. Uh, oh. And, you know, you never know. It might be good. Uh, <laughs> about, uh, what is the one? Oh, I can't think of it now. I'll think of it later. Oh, from wow. what I heard in Green Room about the mustard sandwich. <laughs> You guys have zero <laughs> fucking culinary uh, critique. credibility. <laughs> None. That's good. <clears throat> Whatever. Uh, what these guys. Potato. If you get a potato bun, like hamburger bun, it's the best. With... I mean, I like it just plain mustard on a potato bun. Mute her oh, right now. Get her out of this. <laughs> what kind of mustard, though? Is it Dijon or is this it This is our episode. <laughs> um, I either do, well, what do you mean? Like the spicy mustard or yellow? Well, Dijon is, I don't know. David explained like it. The, the brown spicy mustard. I like that one. And I also spicy. like that like neon mm. yellow one. Too, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dijon oh, is the hell best. did I lose control so early? You lost. <laughs> you lost it. <laughs> okay, you guys have realized that uh, it appears to be uh, time for a trading uh, seminar. A little training going on. Oh. You've got a lot of foreigners in town and they've brought in scary retinues and guardsmen uh which would kind of explain why the princess was in town last week uh rumor even has it that her father uh the uh caliph is also due in town so who knows maybe he'd be pissed that you almost got his daughter killed maybe he'll be happy that you didn't beat the shit out of the little brat you aren't sure but right now you guys are bored uh the uh hickory farms uh suckables just didn't cut it you guys wow. head on <laughs> i they're little watermelons uh oh. you guys head on over to the adventurers guild hopefully uh the Dina new Luca, that's what it is Oh, the new uh, the new guild master Fauntleroy uh, hopefully has something for you guys. Uh, you go in, you arrive at the guild and find Hortense, the new second in command, the Drow elf, uh, who's special. Uh, she's playing on the couch with a small white rabbit and seems rather amused. Uh, a wry smiles on her face, which abruptly disappears as you enter. <sighs> Come looking for a job. Maybe we came to see you. Her tone is more polite than the first time you met her, and she gives a slight air of respect to the greeting. Uh, well, hello. How are you doing, you Hortense? <laughs> I am just fine. And where did this bunny come from? It just magically appeared. Really? Okay. Beady little red eyes on this white pelt. It's not quite a Welsh rabbit, but it is unusually large for its size wow. <laughs> uh, she uh, sets it down lovingly and uh, walks over knocks on the office door uh, you guys here come in uh, she says your favorite adventurers are here to see you sir uh, send them in <laughs> uh, Fauntleroy greets you warmly and you notice that a basket similar to yours is also on his desk and he is actually enjoying uh the we'll say crackled cheddar cheese uh <laughs> the scent is uh staunch uh we'll say and he goes wow. uh you know the princess uh sent me a gift basket uh, along with you guys saying that uh, she was very pleased uh and this is great uh, the aroma inside his office, like I said, is very sharp. Maybe a little adventure sense would help him out. Sure. Uh, but you hey, know, is there a window we can open in here? No, it is in the center oh, of the building. Crap. So, <laughs> After some small conversation, Fauntleroy tells you that most of the jobs are well beneath your station as you guys are fifth level adventurers and uh, heroes of the realm. Holders of the key to the city. <laughs> bravery expounded upon. Uh, but he says they do have one job. I'm not sure how you guys will take it, though. Lay it on us, uh, big man. Yeah. Pitch Hortense! <laughs> uh, bring in the customer, please. A moment later, Hortense comes in, lovingly stroking the white rabbit. Fauntleroy looks up to the ceiling and sighs greatly, and he goes, Really? 
Hortense grabs the bunny by the ears, holds it out, waves her hand, and drops it. As it hits the floor, it turns into the halfling, Skippy Lee. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Uh, Well, hey, Skip, how's it going? He's got a nose problem. (laughs) As he continues to think that he has whiskers, he looks around at himself, whirls around, and Hortense shuts the door in his face. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, let's see, uh, he makes dubious <laughs> threats uh, towards Hortense, uh, and as she walks out, she conjures a small glittering ball in her hand, causing him to leap behind to Camille. Obviously, the safest bet in the room. Uh, when she leaves, Skippy uh, comes out, stands before the party, and thanks you profusely for accepting his case. Uh, we didn't say that exactly. Um, this is Fauntleroy saying, this, this, this could be a bigger problem. Uh, than just Skippy, so you might want to hear him out. Fine. Okay. Uh, the, anima- the animated <laughs> halfling states that he just got out of jail yesterday uh, <laughs> afternoon for a misunderstanding, nothing serious, uh, and he began to celebrate his freedom uh, at some of the local businesses, you know, because patronage is important. Uh, not everything is Amazon. Small business needs a hand, too. Uh, during this time, he came into possession of some faux currency. Uh, it can't be spent, and uh, it is worthless. Uh, but he's... I had some drinks, so I only have vague recollections, but I'm really not sure where I got the currency. At this point in time, Fauntleroy cuts in and says... Uh, we've got a lot of foreign dignitaries coming in, and if we have a counterfeiting problem in this city, during a trade seminar, that is no bueno, and we need to resolve that. So I take it our job is to track down the Plato, right? <clears throat> Correct. And Skippy is offering you a hundred gold piece gem if you succeed. How did he get a hundred gold piece gem? It's a family heirloom. Uh huh. So what's in it for him? Uh, you know, with uh... well, he expects you to get his money back. Oh, okay. Now I connect the dots. You want and then you can have back. this. Nice. Okay. I will be eternally grateful. <laughs> he also points out that the gem is totally his, and nobody's looking for it. Sure. <laughs> family heirloom. Family heirloom. <clears throat> so, nice. did you just drink yesterday? Was that the only place you went? Uh, that's the last place I went. What was the last place to, uh, you went? Did you go to the red spot? Red dot? What? I don't know. Uh, I went to Toots Pub. A little bit of gambling there, and I'm kind of thinking that maybe uh, those nefarious underworld figures uh, might have gone ahead and... Uh, given me crap money because uh you know i was uh <clears throat> kind of winning how how big were the pots <laughs> uh there uh, there was a substantial uh so, gain there and he, he produces a handful of coins and they look real but then he holds one up and it wiggles <laughs> so how did he discover Hello. that it wasn't real or when after uh, <clears throat> being asked to leave. From the pub? Or totally not my fault. Right. Of course. So you figured it out at the pub. Yes. Well, outside the pub. And what did you do then? Uh, I came over here to the Adventurers Guild and uh, demanded justice. And let me guess, that's when Hortense... Polymorph to you. <laughs> you know what? Normally I respect women, but I'll tell you, uh, that elven bitch, if I get her alone, I'm kicking her ass. Yeah, Hortense just went up, in my opinion, immeasurably. 
<laughs> well, good luck with that, Skip. <laughs> you know, if that happens. So, <laughs> so when are we going to do this? Where else did you go? What's this we? <laughs> well, I got to lead you because I got to tell you who's who and what's what and who for. And, you know, I want to get a little punching in, too. Uh, can I borrow your staff there, lady? If you mean by a borrow, I'll whack you in the nuts with it. I'll go ahead and go fisticuffs only. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so let's go to Toots Pub and let's get my money back. Where else were you that night? Well, I kind of stopped by, you know, when a halfling gets out of prison, he's got certain needs. So right. So I, took I you may have stopped by uh, Belinda's Bordello. Mm. Well, how long were you in prison? I was in prison a good 36 hours this time. And you have needs? It was an eternity. Hours? I have needs. Don't you have a hand? You're a halfling too, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you got needs. But you didn't discover that everything was fake until after you got asked to leave the establishment at the end. After they rudely threw me out, that's why I need some hired muscle to go back in there and get my money back. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll do it. Zadar, I think you're going to have to be in charge of him, though. You oh, do no. it, you will have earned this. <laughs> and he shoves it back in his shoe. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh, oh, God, I'm going to have to clean that. Oh. All right. <laughs> Zadar, what are you today? Hmm. Trying to think. Uh, probably, well, uh, we might get some more answers if I go with, like, a well-armed Jessica rabbit. <laughs> and I shift and I wink at, at um, Skippy Lee. <laughs> yeah, the whole rabbit thing. So... Haha, I see what you did. Get there. it? <laughs> we ought to call Hoy Pants back in here. <laughs> yes, I get it. That's very funny. Ha 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 ha. You should be a bard. Hey. <laughs> Can we go get my money? Should we have uh, Hortense change him back into a rabbit while we do this? <laughs> I, uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Maybe she could come with. Can Hortense is not interested in this project, plus it's daylight. Oh. Well. Okay. Could she change him into a rabbit for us? Uh, the thing Aunt is, Leroy does not feel that that is helpful at all. Right. He right. is a paying customer for the gem. So. Uh, yeah, like we all know, that's gonna happen. Okay. Well, you know where he's hiding it. Let's, so. Yeah. Let's let's motivate. All right. Toots Pub or Belinda's Bordello, your choice. guess the pub sure i became aware that the coin as you guys were walking that way it's a short distance away i became aware that the coins were bad after winning a rather lucrative hand of cards at the pub uh, i suggest we begin there the close proximity of toots pub to the guild gives you hope that you won't have to spend too much time with the obnoxious halfling which is always a plus a few minutes later, you arrive at the middle class establishment and interrupt a heated exchange between a bartender and another individual who looks like a gambling man. If there were a crossover, I'd say he looks like Felix the Rogue, but no crossover. Hmm. Who walks in first? I will. Okay. Uh, tiefling, uh, they look at you and... <laughs> they see Skippy, and instead of arguing with each other, they turn on him. Uh, both men give a rather descriptive uh, idea of what they want to do to Skippy. Uh, some of it doesn't seem humanly possible, but <laughs> a halfling, he might be able to shove his head up his ass and look out of his ribcage, but you aren't quite sure. Uh, the threats and insults uh, would make a sailor blush as the two berate them. Uh, Skippy, undeterred and with three meaty backups, 
begins to also throw out the verbal assaults, almost akin to vicious mockery that does little to calm the situation. Wow. <laughs> so they just like literally ignore us coming in the door and just immediately go to bother him. Yes. Uh, mm. As you are sizing up the situation, Skippy Lee points out that he was unaware that anyone on this planet stacked shit so high, and that really pissed off the bartender. Wow. No. Oh. I'm just like, simmer down, boys. <laughs> I was still like, I feel like, is there a problem? Yeah, I'm just like, like yeah. Short <laughs> yeah, there's a problem, and that's it. That short shit ripped us off. He's a cheater. How did he do that exactly? Look at my money. And they have rubbery money as well. He has rubbery money as well. Yeah, he's probably been handing it out to everybody. <laughs> well, he's hired us to find out where the rubber money came from. Are you accusing me? No, no, no. no. We're simply backtracking his night. Look, horn lady, if you're you accusing me, you, you come out and you say it to my face, because I do not appreciate the accusations or the inclinations or the inferment. Uh, this is Toots talking to you. Right? He's the bartender. What is he? Again? Bartender. No, no, like... What's race? He's, What's the race? He's, a, he's a human. Are you racist against tieflings? She's racist. I, am I? No. I'm racist against the sawed off little shit like you who gave me this funny money. Oh, well, yeah. Normally I would agree with you. He is not. I am not his biggest fan. Everybody, perception check. Oh, God. <laughs> 18. Solid 9. The other one is kind of bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, fifteen. Uh, while Daphne is going nose to nose with the human, leaning down and verbally berating him, uh, Camille, you catch out of the corner of your eye, and Zadar, you squarely catch uh, the other man cracking his knuckles as he's making fists. And his entire neck is beat red. <laughs> he appears to be quite angry. Or is he happy with it? Or when you're camp asphyxiation, nah. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Autoerotic as asphyxiation? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's David Carradine in this. Yeah. Choking and they can't breathe. Oh, he can breathe. You can hear him. No, I'm saying, what's the word for that? Asphyxiation? Seething? See what? anything in anger? No. What? Okay. So. Is that Hannah? What kind, is he a human too? <laughs> like, is he a human? I not, wave at him. Hello. But anaphylactic. Would you calm down a bit so we can Asthmatic? Talk? Well, asthmatic's a good one. Settle. Settle. It's not. He looks down at one halfling. Uh, Daphne, uh, would you like to uh, calm uh, Toots? I calmly stroke his face to calm him down. Oh boy. <laughs> this cannot <laughs> possibly go wrong. Uh, give me a persuasion check, Daphne. Yeah. I'm trying to Google what it is. <laughs> Affixiate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> what was it? Persuasion. Persuasion. What is it? 18. Uh, the facial rubbing seems to be getting Toots calmed down. <laughs> uh, Camille, as you are, whoa, 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 calm down. Uh, the individual known as Knuckles, the gambler, hauls off and punches Skippy Lee. Knocking him out. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Blood pours freely from his nose. Everybody, let's do initiative to see how bad this goes. <laughs> 15. Rolling initiative. Uh, let's... Ooh. <laughs> okay, not good. Six. Eight. 
Oh, you tied me, Caitlin. Uh, Camille, you are able to take an action first. Uh, Daphne seems to have gotten Toots calmed down, so he doesn't appear to be a problem at this time. However, uh, Knuckles is pretty pissed off, and there is just blood all over his knuckles. And you notice he has finger tattoos of dice. <laughs> Nice. nice. He's a professional gambler. Right. Uh, Skippy has pissed himself and has just a smashed nose. What would you like to do? I would like to compliment you on your form first and foremost, and thank you for knocking out our companion because he drives me insane. D12 against me. <laughs> Uh, he says, thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to punch you. Well, what an asshole. Uh, <laughs> but he is going to swing wildly with a five uh, as he has misjudged your height. Uh, <laughs> Camille, or I'm sorry, Daphne, you see the aggressive action towards Camille. And what would you like to do? Ah, uh, yeah, so loudly. Just complete utter disbelief. This guy's a brawler, man. And are we, are, why is he mad at us? Just for asking a question? Uh, you're obviously with Skippy Lee. Stole his money. And wait, what? Then who are you with? You're going you're gonna to talk to him? Okay. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll chat. He, he's, he's a conversationalist. I'm sick and tired of these little runts coming in, thinking they're so sly and stealing my hard-earned money. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. And it's just like, whoa, whoa. Can you tell us who else was at the game last night? Because the this little little shit, I mean, you know, we're not going to let him get away with this if, he, <laughs> if it is him. He is laid out. Bravo on the punch, though. <laughs> Persuade. Okay. Don't forget, I am Jessica, so. <laughs> All right, persuasion. Ooh, okay, not bad. 19. He makes a fist. Mm -hmm. uh, Camille, back to you. Round two. Oh, fuck. Five. Swinging on him? No. Just... Dude, really, calm down. <laughs> uh, Daphne, you and I tied. I went first last time. I'll let you go first this time. We're still not like fighting him, right? He just oh, to... we're 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 in a fight. <laughs> well, he did, he did swing at Camille. You don't know what he's about to do next. We have like regular chairs around us. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I sense you got it. improvised <laughs> weapons <Yep>. coming up. <laughs> and, and you have uh, Toots there if you want to grab him and beat him to death with the bartender. Always a class favorite. Oh my goodness. I take... Is he sitting or standing? They're both standing. Mm. I take... Oh, I don't know how to do this. Hold on. Then there's a table. There is a table. <laughs> there's a bucket of beers. There's a bar stool, and there's a table. Is that like um, a picture frame picture? Uh, you won't be able to reach it. It'll be behind the bar. Okay. I'll just smack him with the bucket of beers. <laughs> <laughs> Buy him a beer. Yeah, have you ever seen Unnecessary yeah. Roughness? That always works. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Scott Bakula. <laughs> Shout out to Scott Bakula. <laughs> open or unopened beer? It's just a bucket of beers. Yeah. Just, 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 grab bucket, it by, of just grab it by its handle and well. No, but like they're not open yet? Yeah, they're mugs. They don't have bottles. Mm. Is there beer in it? Well, there's something alcoholic in it. Okay, never mind. Take away my. Um, <laughs> here's a bucket. How big's the bucket? Like. All right, I put the bucket 
over his head? I don't know. You pour it over his head? Hit him. Oh, it's head? Yeah, hit him. No. What? No, oh. if you're going to put the bucket over his, his head, head, you got to roll. You got to hit him. Oh, I got to hit him for it. Yeah. 19? Oh, yeah. Uh, you lift the bucket, the beers come out, you stuff it on his head. He will be blind fighting, but since you and he tied, he will get first crack at it before he has to go into blind fight. And he will address four. Uh, Jessica Rabbit, as Daphne is seen reaching over for the bucket, he looks at you and says, look, Tits McGee, I want my money and I want it now. A moment later, the bucket goes over his head. Uh, Zadar, what would you like to do? Uh, boy, this is this is this is gonna end bad. So <laughs> it's Phil Bar. It oh, always yeah. ends bad. Okay, so yeah, with that, um, I mean, if you have a spoon, you just start like hitting it on the bucket. It's gonna be real nauseous. I tell you what, I'm gonna use my scimitar and I'm gonna flick the bucket off his head. No, keep it on. Why would you too high on? or too low? Gives him some chin music. Exactly. Roll the hit. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what it, and, uh, I used the scimitar, right? Yep. Uh, for the hit? That's Ooh. what you said. Okay. All righty. 17. He's going to have Kirk Douglas butt chin as you slice through him and knock off the thing. Uh a nice little incision is on the chin, uh, forming uh, Peter Griffin ball-like uh, appearance. Uh, Camille, top of the order, round three. You have bleeding butt face uh, wearing I'm a like, bucket. I'm like the drunk kids <laughs> that berate Peter in the park. Uh, he's got balls on his face. Yep. He's, um, I would like to do shocking grasp. Okay. Uh, here on out, as long as you we were in the bucket, you get to roll <clears throat> at advantage because he don't see it coming. I thought he took the bucket off. Yeah, but this off. is all going on at the same time, right? Oh, no, that, no, she's correct. You did take the bucket off. Okay. Uh, no, well, I attempted to flip it off, whether or not it you did. succeeded. Oh, okay. yeah, 17, piece of cake. So he sees my scimitar right at him. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, Camille. Fuck. Seven. Close, but no cigar. Uh, Daphne, you went first last time. I will go first this time. Uh, he's got a lot of targets to choose from. Six. Daphne, he's going for you this time. Uh, let's see. He is going to pick up the table and try and beat you with it. <laughs> the whole table? Yes, he's very strong. Uh, does a 19 get you? Yeah, what? but can't Gonna dodge it? Oh no, uh, you aren't. It's not your turn. Oh my god! All right, yeah, it hits. <laughs> uh, yeah, take twelve hit points as he cracks you right in the face, blood dripping down on the floor. But it is your turn to get even with him. I mean, fine, just for hitting me, I'll do the hellish rebuke on him. Okay. So that's not even my turn. That's just like automatic. Right. And I'm not even using big red yet. Uh oh. <laughs> I switched dice already. Big red I'm gonna use on the campaign this Saturday. Do you have to make a deck saving throw? Fifteen plus one, sixteen. He dodges you. Yeah. But that puts him in perfect firing position for your attack. So right. up, up, and away. Wow. One attack is not. Oh, my God. Uh, 19? Oh, yeah. Easily. 10 wouldn't hit, right? Yeah. 10. Or no, 10 does not hit. 11 hits. Mm, so close. All right. Just four damage. And I'm like, why would you use a table? 
closest thing there. You're lucky you didn't use toots. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, with that, I... Oh, God, everything's just awful. <laughs> okay. I am going to uh, make an unarmed strike and sure. then bonus action because there are other combatants sneak attack with a finesse weapon with the dagger okay okay so we're drawing blood already did <laughs> well you sort of. i'll tell you what uh the pommel of the dagger okay, okay. fair so, enough okay same damage non-lethal yep all right so the unarmed strike uh does a 20 connect oh yeah Okay. Uh, unarmed strikes uh, in fill bar slash cacophony are 1d4 plus your strength bonus. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What did I roll on d4? Two plus strength. Uh, that's, yeah, not much than my regular hit. So it's, it's three points of damage with that. Okay. And then the sneak attack with the pommel. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. It's uh three to d six for a total of five. Not a lot of big rolls tonight, boys and girls. You might be going to the coffin city. Uh, new round, Camille, you're up. Uh, this guy 12. doesn't even seem phased. That hits. Okay, we'll go back to my trusty quarter staff. In the nuts! <laughs> right in the nuts! Uh, 1d6. Well, let's cross our fingers. Eh, two. <laughs> <laughs> he is gonna beat the fuck out of you guys. So this guy has not pulled a weapon. Everything, he is He doesn't have a weapon. Okay. Yeah, doesn't have a weapon other than the table that he hit Daphne in the face with. Daphne, I went first last time. You're up this time. I'm gonna take a chair and hit him with a chair. D6 plus strength bonus if you connect. Uh, when you're attacking, yeah, no, just strength bonus to hit him, and then D6 plus strength bonus. I did two chairs. Well, 12, you said 11, or so 12. Yep, that is. And white, D6. D6 plus strength. Four damage for the chair. Oof. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> What? We're not trying to kill him, though, are we? No, I don't think so. No. He's an unarmed gambler. All right, and then I'm going to punch him with my other hand? Sure. All right, just a regular roll. Not a lot of nut room here. <laughs> keep going for the crotch. 22 to hit, and then it's just three damage for a punch. 1d4 plus strength. Wait. 1d4 plus strength. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, I, I say screw that unarmed bullshit from D&D. &D. All right. Wow. Plus strength. Mm -hmm. So then six damage. There you go. He's going to go after Dose. He's going after Camille. Uh, what's he going to use? He's going to punch you with his ham hock fists. I don't think so. 13 get you? Yes. <laughs> He's pretty strong, by the way. <laughs> Ten <laughs> damage as he busts you in the face. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, I say, buddy, it's going to be lights out for you. So... <laughs> Uh, at that moment, I am going to cast sleep on him. So good luck. You're gonna need it. Okay. The pool is Rohai. Uh, all right. Thirty-one. Nice, Camille. Top of the order. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 16. To his hit points, that wasn't even close. Oh. Yep, that hits Camille. Okay. Even after the chin music. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you'd be surprised at how many hit points this guy has. I am. I'm impressed. <laughs> hey, you guys are fifth level, man. This mm -hmm. is an easy encounter. Yeah, none of my good stuff. I thought we were trying not to kill him, though. Okay, so I'll so do... Such is the price you pay. Ray of Sickness. And... Okay. Do I get a save or is that just straight up? Uh, uh, Anne must make a constitution saving throw. Not with a three. Uh, am I at disadvantage? Uh, poisoned until the end of your next turn. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Daphne, you went first last time. I'll go first this time. I'm going to take on Dose <laughs> again. That's Camille. Boy, he really has it out for halflings. Yeah, huh? he doesn't like short people. 14 plus 6. He don't like halflings. Dirty 20. Uh, what's he doing? Okay, he's punching you. Uh, only four hit points this time, though. Oh, well, thank God. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Fuck him up. <laughs> I take another chair and I look at the bartender. I'm like, I'm so sorry about this. Bartender's <laughs> outside. <laughs> He's, He's yelling for the cops. All right. Uh, 14. And you said why? It was. D6 plus strength. Six damage. Yeah, that'll work. And another just random punch with it, too, which is 11. And he says same thing, or D4, right? Mm -hmm. D4 plus strength. And that's five. Uh, you're, you're starting to chop him down now. Ta or Zadar, you're up. OK. <laughs> I'm going to go for another control. <laughs> So he's going to have to make a wisdom saving throw after I pull a funny face on him. Uh, 17. Oh, shit. <laughs> plus zero. 17. 17 beats it. Camille, round six. Guards! Guards! Skippy Lee is sitting up like Flash Gordon, a little bit puzzled. Not sure where he's at. Okay. <laughs> so I hit him. I'll go back to Ray of Sickness again. And is he a human? Mm -hmm. He's a big human. Seven. Four on that save. How much damage? Seven. Uh, whoa. Whoa. <coughs> whoa. Whoa. I'm tired of puking my guts out. Fine. He can keep his money. That wasn't the point of this whole thing, you asshole. <laughs> I, I, then give me my money. We I don't slap it. have your money. We're trying to find out who's passing the money. That guy is. Go ahead and hit him, Daphne, if you're going to slap him. Yeah, I want to slap him. 14 to slap? Sure. He gets bitch slapped. Yeah. Is he still like, puking? <laughs> As they he's, do it. He's still puking. How much damage did you do? Ooh. We're doing damage with the slap. 1d4 oh, no. plus strength. Three. D12 against me. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Uh, he doesn't like it much, but he's not going to fight back. Was there anybody else at the table other than dipshit over here? No. So it was just the two of you. Yep. And you know that your money was all good before he got there. Of course it was. Okay. Guards <laughs> burst in, looking for the fight. Skippy Lee is starting to regain his composure. Oh my God. Uh, he's just got blood all down his face. Because <laughs> that fucker punched him and broke his nose. He showed up like this. I take a couple tampons and shove them up his nose. Ew. Oh! <laughs> it was just a napkin. Head insult to injury. Exactly. 
Uh, can we all d12 against me? Three. What is going on here, demands the guards. It's, we're all good. We were just having a discussion. I got a little heated. Oh. And we're on a, uh, a, a job for Pontleroy. Looks at Zadar. What about you? Uh, yeah, same. <laughs> and you, Horns? Why is everyone so tiefling racist? It wasn't negative. It was merely pointing it out. Racist. And racist. you, Knuckles? I, we're, all so fit, racist. we're all fit as a fiddle here. <laughs> hey, my sister's in love with a uh, tiefling. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I got plenty of tiefling friends. I just don't <laughs> so I asked the guy, how much money are you out? I'm out 60 gold. Holy shit. Wow. Now, I'll tell you what, if we can track down who's passing the funny money, then, you know, you'll get your money back. Or why don't you help us out on this investigation? It'll probably help you get your money back a lot faster. No. <laughs> you don't want your money back? Yeah, I do. But you guys beat the shit out of me. And she hit yeah, me in the nuts. You, you started it. Her side, then. I didn't hit any of you guys first. You tried to. We were trying to have a conversation. I tried to get lucky last night. See what that landed me? I'm still sitting here alone. Maybe if you want I wonder to... why. <laughs> yes, insult the large man <laughs> who's only down half his hit points. <laughs> is, this, is this where you're going to be where we can find you? Yes. Okay. We'll be back. Fine. I'll be here. 60 gold pieces is what you're going to try and find. Well, plus commission for a time and effort since you don't want to help. <laughs> wow. Persuasion. <laughs> finder. Let's just call it a finder's fee. Yeah, exactly. A finder's fee. Oh, God. Um, nine. Yeah, there ain't going to be no finder's fee. He owes <laughs> me 60 gold. You're going to get me 60 gold. Well, how much oh. is Skippy out? Or I will hunt you down like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> like a canard. Uh, I was Skip about to say. Skippy's out 120 gold. Jesus wow. Christ. So, well, wait, I you guys have guy really gotten taken how out much to the cleaners. Did he start with? Who are you asking that? The gambler. 60 gold. He Girl. cleaned me out. So you just lost to him? Yeah. Little son of a bitch is a thief and a cheat. So you're just saying you lost money. Where did where'd the weird money come from then if you lost everything to him? I have several business ventures in which I am able to maintain a constant flow of cash. So what, <laughs> what are those business ventures? Import, export. Of? Stuff. <laughs> is it a business here in Cacophony? It rotates. Okay. So you're just pissed that he won all your money. He didn't win all my money. Okay. So he won 60 gold of my money. Right. Or actually, he won 30 gold of my money, and my other 30 gold is turned into this rubber stuff. So did you win against him at all? No, I did not. Then how the fuck did you get... How do you think he's giving you money, then? If you didn't He's get cheating. Any, if you didn't get any of his money, how is how is he passing this money around? Lady, you're drunk. Just go find my shit. <laughs> okay. But she does make a point. It's just like, yeah. It's yeah, just like, you know what? won it all. <laughs> Ma making a point against the... It, you know what? Don't anger Chewbacca when you're playing space chess with him. Because right. he will rip the droid in half. All right. Uh, well, we need to go then. Toots yeah. hands, knuckles, a broom, and says, you know the drill. <laughs> Starts cleaning it up. Right. Uh, you go outside, it's still daylight. Uh, sunlight's a little bright. Ah, Jesus. How does my face look? Oh, you might worse. need it. You might got need a got a lot a of pain right here. <laughs> Not here. Right here. It's just like, well, let's... 
help you out a little bit. And I press to digitate the blood from his face and his shirt but or whatever. But he still whatever. has the tampon strings hanging Yeah, out. but he still has that. I don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair I say, enough. I say we head over to the bordello. Uh, that's over here. You can see that uh, darkness is starting to swell up and he's getting the raccoon eyes. Uh, <laughs> next door is Belinda's bordello. Hmm. Uh, let's let Jessica, why don't you chat at them? They would probably be more inclined to speak to you. Still rubbing his nose, Skippy begins to complain loudly. The nerve of that guy. I'm going to go mm -hmm. kick his ass after this is all done. Uh, with one mess diverted, you ask him where he was before the pub, and he winces in pain as he adjusts his nose and wipes away some tears uh, and nods. This is where I was at, the bordello. You guys want to go in? Yeah, we'll go in. Uh, as you head into Belinda's bordello, you discover it is rather seedy and filled with a heavy aroma of perfume and tobacco, a massive <laughs> bouncer stops you guys it's your business from behind you you hear out of the way fat ass we're on city business <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like pipe down we're here to see belinda <laughs> when is busy you got money that's what we're here about do you got money did she lose money last night I don't know. You'd have to ask her. If you want in, uh, you have to be a member. How much does it cost? Oh, really? <laughs> Five gold each. Sure. <laughs> I mean... Do we get a card for that? Yeah. <laughs> and do they have a frequent flyer card that we get punches on? Well, yeah, a membership card. Awesome. Sign me up. <laughs> It, the card is in the shape of a penis. <laughs> and he notches out the tip of it showing that you've paid. <laughs> awesome. That's one visit. <laughs> That's one visit. Oh, man. Caitlin is shocked. <laughs> uh, you guys each pay up the five gold pieces. Skippy manages to filter his way in without paying. Right. Uh, inside... Uh, the wild scents are having a confusing effect on Skippy, and he will begin to lose focus, probably. It's due wild scent? Oh, yeah, it's tobacco and harsh perfume. Have you ever been in a cheap uh, strip like, joint? Are you talking about the sense of sex, though? Like, no, just there, there's just a cheap collab. There's collateral damage of sense here. I mean, there might be some poo, oh, definitely a hint of urine, oh. uh, seminal fluids in abundance. Blood. Powder, blood, you name it, you can smell it. Adventure but, sense. Hey, get this. <laughs> Belinda's bordello adventure sense. Belinda's sets. bordello. Uh, there, there might even be the smell of a donkey in there. You really aren't oh. sure. Okay, uh, so far. The individual <laughs> room, the first room you're in is a large room with a cone shaped roof uh, with a lot of lurid murals painted in it uh men and women uh, of all races and sex are moving around some of them are clothed some of them are half clothed some of them are book ass naked there are two long hallways off this room each is guarded by a pair of huge guards uh as you look around uh let's see uh you get pushed aside. Uh, three, uh, Jessica Rabbit slash Zadar. He, Skippy pushes you aside, looks around, wincing through the pain of the heavy sense, and says, "There, that's the one that I uh, last night. That one, Philomena. 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 Uh, hearing her name." Uh, the lady turns around. Eh, she's attractive. That's a 16. Mm -hmm. Not bad. She saunters over with a big feather boa with her voluptuous heaving bosoms hanging out. Uh, she has got a lot of makeup on and a rag over her shoulder. Uh. <laughs> Asks you, what do you want to do? Because I do 
those. <laughs> this is the menu, right? That's right. That is the menu. <laughs> okay. Um, We're just prepping you for your trip, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> If I was a guy, you could be like, hey, no teeth, you know? <laughs> but if they ain't sisters, they ain't gonna happen. Nope. So there you go. Philomena's uh, asking, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I, Philomena, I have a question. Is she human? Uh, yes, she is a human. Okay. Hey, uh, Philomena, have you seen any bad coin come through this place? <laughs> On, there ain't no such thing as bad coin. Okay. So, um, other than dipshit over here, uh, can you tell me who else that you might have seen yesterday? It's like a young Anthony Michael Hall. What <laughs> he's looking like. Right. When he gets caught in the back seat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was your question again? Uh, your um, client yesterday, could you... Give me a run through on those. Did, do you know? In, are they regulars? Was there anybody? New? Yeah, anybody not members. Can, we we have new, to or, or new members. Yeah. Could we do that, please? Sure, hon. Because you know she calls everybody hon. Mm -hmm. uh, you wander around. Uh, let's see. Uh, a naked man bumps into you, Camille. Uh, kind of. At what level? <laughs> rubs, rubs across the back of your head. Uh, <laughs> please tell me he's clean. D12 against me. Oh, man. Five. One, he's clean and dry. Thank God. <laughs> so good news. Oh, crusty hair, yeah. Uh, Zidar, D12 against me. Okay. Dose. Uh, three. <laughs> uh, you get propositioned by a gentleman with a seven charisma. Uh, it's just like... Uh... He has all his teeth on the top, but his jaw is way back here. So it's a tremendous overbite. I step in front and I say, she does not work here. <laughs> yeah. Sure, ball head. I'm talking to the lady. <laughs> Ball. Oh, balls on the head. Okay. That's right. <laughs> uh, Daphne, D12 against me. That's an eight. Two. Oh, my God. We're not having a good time in this place. Uh, it's a 17 charisma. Mm. And it's a female. I'll take it. Her name is Gabriella. That's <laughs> exotic. <laughs> Of course I am exotic. I am from the West, my dear. Would you care to indulge? I do. All of that. <laughs> That's impressive. The whole circle. There is nothing you cannot ask for that she will not do for a price. Wow. I have a snake in my room, if that entices you further. <laughs> Am I about to meander off with her? Is this what's happening? Say again? So am I about to meander off with her? Is that what's happening? It's up to you. Your, your choice. Wait. So, 17 charisma. How much did Probably she charge? No shit. Oh, yeah, that, much? That, that has not been asked. How much... For a private room with you? Five ingots. Holy shit. How much is that? A lot? A hundred gold. No. Oh. How much money do I have? No. Well, well, you got a hundred gold in your basket. And we got like, what? 500 each for the job last week? Yeah, you got money. That's just for the room? An hour. What's included in it? Like, it's like a flat fee and anything I want in that flat fee. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, I'll do it for an hour. Okay. Negotiator. There you go. Uh, give me a performance roll. <laughs> performance? What is that considered? 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, performance. She got an 18. Holy shit, I'm real bad. I think it's this online one. I got eight. Yeah, your eyes pop out of your skull, so- your eye sockets uh, from what she does to you. Uh, you are a blithering idiot and do not reciprocate. Meanwhile, out in the foyer, uh, Camille Philomena says, what? <laughs> you, You'll wake up with a boa around you and... What? <laughs> my, my not a feather boa. An not actual a feather boa. Uh, an actual boa. <laughs> Uh, Camille, she takes you, Zadar, and Skippy Lee, who's <laughs> uh, over to the book, uh, flips open this large tome, uh, notices that it is sticky, uh, moves it, looks, and says, there you go. Uh, the page has about 50 entries in it. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, God. Uh, so I, I asked Philomena, so... Is there anybody here that doesn't seem like they normally come here? Hun. This I'm was, waiting this for This is my tally for yesterday. All um, right. So are these your regulars? Three of them are. Mm. Uh, that guy's new. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure he which, is. Which three are not? Uh, they're gone. No, I know, but what what are their names in your book? My of uh, my regulars? No, no. You said three weren't your regulars. Right? Oh, oh. Uh yes, Larry Moe and Curly. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> you wanna know why they call him Curly? No. His last name's Merkin, are you sure? No, I don't wanna know. <laughs> Curly Merkin. He was fun. Lawrence of Arabia oh. was nice. Did you happen to see a big guy come in here yesterday with dice tattooed on his knuckles? You mean knuckles? Uh, that's no, what he's no knuckles. Uh, knuckles doesn't swing my way, hon. Well, you hear really? shrieks of pleasure coming from the room that Daphne just went in. <laughs> oh, way to go, Daphne! Good for you. Uh, so, is there anybody here that would know knuckles? Yeah, we all know Knuckles. Okay. Who would he have been with? Uh, Edmund. Is Edmund here? D12 against me? Four. What? Four. Two. Yeah, he's over there. I go over to talk to Edmund. Uh, Edmund is a flowery individual, but very uh, engaging. He has a pair of sailors with him currently, and he seems to be attempting to finish the transaction. <laughs> like it's over, or? Like what the agreed upon price is going to be for the selections available. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Edmund, may I have Hang a- on a second, I'm about to become a seesaw. Go ahead, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Mature uh, audiences. Mature audiences only. Uh, okay, he's agreed. Uh, before I get to my semen, what do you want? Um, so Philomena was saying that you, you know, uh, Knuckles is a client of yours. A regular. So do they pay you cash or do they pay the house? Uh, they pay me and the house gets a cut at the end of the night. So have you been, have you seen any, um, money around that's not real, that's counterfeit? Honey, do you see anywhere where I can stuff coins? Oh, not there. <laughs> 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 Woo, that's my joke. <laughs> uh, we can go to my room. Okay. Skippy's like, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just... I'm going to remain out here. That's fine. Okay. Uh, more shouts from Daphne as her eyeballs pop out of her skull. So, oh, are you going with Camille? Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll follow. <laughs> uh, Edmund takes a look at you and goes, hmm, 
magically enhanced, I'm guessing. Uh, you go <laughs> into the room where there are two naked sailors. They are already preparing. One has a charisma of one. Oh. The other one has a charisma of 13. Uh, oh, the Edward one I'm charisma so <laughs> looks like uh, the guy from Red Dragon, only they really botched the tattoo job badly. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, they're like, hey, all right. More people. <laughs> More people. Uh, Edmund reaches over, grabs his coin purse, <laughs> flicks it at you. Uh, inside, there seems to be a sizable amount of coins. Uh, do any uh, of them appear to be forgeries? Nope. All of them are coins. Yeah, it jingles. Bite down on it. And <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> okay, Edmund, I appreciate your time. No problem. Tell Knuckles what, next time you see him that slots is available for him. <laughs> nice. Uh, you go out at, just in time to see Daphne walking out like she's been riding a horse for the first time in her life. <laughs> uh, sweat is running down her face and she looks devoid of liquid. Uh, but she has this unbelievable smile etched onto her face uh, as her new friend escorts her out slowly she performed marvelously <laughs> uh, you notice that there are some snake scales caught in her collarbone next to her armor wow. <laughs> obviously it was well worth the money under gold there Daphne <laughs> you gave me a look as she walked by <laughs> <sighs> No, there's no judgment. No judgment in uh, Belinda's bordello. Hey. Everybody is their own person. Like your judgment, though. Well, you know, your performance was rather poor. You know. <laughs> hey, at it least was, it wasn't a one virgin. <laughs> it was taken by surprise. <laughs> he was taken, all right. Mm -hmm. So you've established that uh, there is no funny money here in uh, Belinda's bordello. What do you want to mm -hmm. do next? Mm. I like the Skippy. Where else did you go before you hit the Skippy? Oh no, he waited out here. Oh, oh. that's right. We gotta go. Oh, that's right. We gotta go. Yeah. So, so we thank her for. Uh, we thank Edmund for his time and. I'd shake out. your hand, but they're already full. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you guys are already out into the atrium area because yeah. that's where Daphne is struggling to stay composed. Daphne. <laughs> money well spent it was truly an astonishing moment that you will remember fondly for years to come <laughs> on the other hand no you are a cash register ring and a ding on the ticker uh, so. <laughs> I ask her for her card like a business card same type of thing do you put out your hand for it no oh, I ask Lord. her I'm like so um she reaches down between her heaving bosoms and uh, has a card. I take it with my mouth. As she feeds it to you, she takes your hand and... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just in time and she's drinking wine. Uh, she's going to need to see a cleric after this. <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. Uh, make a con save. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> They're in a bordello, man. It's price of doing business. Syphilis. <laughs> Gonorrhea. Ten. You can go either way. Ten? Ten or five? Ten. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Oh, uh, okay. Like, no, and, and you were with a female, so it's only one con roll. There's no chance of you being pregnant. <laughs> Many other things to fear. Pregnancy right. to get rid of. You you are in a stupor of uh pleasure and overwhelming seduction and you you are pretty much worthless here for a little bit. Uh you will be at disadvantage for everything for the next encounter. Uh Zadar and Camille looking around, <clears throat> apparently it's shift change or something. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of sticky people wandering around, but no sign of Skippy League. It'd be an investigation uh, check. Both of you. Oh, Lord, that little 
cards. Wow, five. You do, you don't see him. Uh, Sudar rolled a fourteen. You don't see him, Caitlin. What do you want to do? Sorry, what was happening? I was asking about wine. We're trying to find Skippy. We're like doing a quick investigation. I thought he was just outside before. He was. Um, is there like foot tracks? Like what? In a bordello, there's I'm sticky, but the purple uh, uh what what was that carpet called? Shag. Shag. The purple shag carpet uh, has a lot of, I'll say, trails in it, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, but there is the big bouncer at the front door and two bouncers down each hallway. Oh, I guess we could each ask a bouncer, right? Okay, who's first? Not me. I'll go. D12. Seven. Two. Uh, yeah. He's in room four back there. For the love of God. <laughs> About that time, you hear a gleeful wee! <laughs> All right. I go to room four and I go whacking on the door. That's that's the adjective you're going to choose. Fair enough. Yes. All right. <laughs> Uh, you hear inside a female voice yell, uh, busy. Don't give a I'm shit, wondering. Skippy, get out here. Hurry up. <laughs> five minutes, just give me five minutes. No. Uh, you hear a weird ch 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 Oh. <laughs> Followed by another weeful glee. <laughs> Oh, I'm confused. Yeah. He's uh, he's on a spinning wheel. <laughs> Do you know what make a sound? I whack my staff on the door again. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> Somebody kick the door open. I would try, but apparently I only have disadvantage. Well, I mean, I am a thief, so I'll try. <laughs> I've got, I've got tools, so I can try to jimmy the lock. It's not locked. Oh, oh, oh. just open the door. <laughs> uh, as Adar has correctly pointed out, uh, a naked Skippy Lee has been strapped onto a large spinning wheel. A woman dressed in black leather holding a whip. Uh, a very attractive woman with the 17 charisma uh, <laughs> uh, gives him a crack right in the groin, causing him to squeal in delight yet again. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you the bankers, he said? Oh, God damn him. Uh, hey, guys, small problem. All I have is, uh, you know, the bad stuff. <laughs> Uh, the dominatrix is now upset and states somebody's going to be paying 50 gold or he's going to get more welts. Oh, uh, I'm uh, I, I say go for the welts. Okay, no. <laughs> I mean, take it out in a flash, baby. Can I have your card? Daphne, uh, do you want to <laughs> dissuade the dominatrix from beating the shit out of Skippy Lee? What? What? I should like give her a high five. That's what the other two are doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, she proceeds to beat him bloody. After several more spins, uh, he's not happy with you guys at all. Oh, uh, is released <laughs> and starts to put on his clothes when the gemstone falls out of his boot and the dominatrix picks it up I will be keeping this as payment. How much was it worth? A hundred, anyway? Skippy says it's worth a hundred. Good for her. And he... <laughs> no, we were never going to get paid for this. He is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> and he is walking as gingerly as Daphne is for a very distinctly different reason. Mm -mm. All right, Skip. Yep. So, other than... 
bar and this place, where were you at? <sighs> I... I was apparently at the Mason's Lodge. Well, I guess we better head there. Uh, the sun is starting to set, and uh, you guys round the corner. Let's see here. Uh, you guys round the corner and draw. We'll draw. So you leave Belinda's Bordello. You come around the corner past uh, the Hall of Records, uh, in through the alley to the Mason's Lodge, and it has a sign saying, Closed! When do they open again? Does not have a notice. I wonder if uh, just closed as far as visiting or business hours or closed indefinitely. Camille, roll a d6. A half-orc named Othello approaches. He looks vaguely familiar, uh, only he is trying to sell snacks from his moving wagon. <laughs> no Would you like huh? horse on a stick? Cheval? It's very spicy. Mm. Mm. I'll pass I'll for now. They're very spicy because we use a secret sauce involving radishes. Intrigued. I want to know what this sauce is. Uh, one gold. Gold for horse on a stick? Wow. You guys don't have any silver. Wait, horse on a stick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? I said whores on a stick? <laughs> you already had that one, Caitlin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want the horse, just the radish sauce. It'll be free if you lick it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat a horse. I'm a vegan tiefling. Do you want to lick his horse on his stick? That's where the sauce is at. <laughs> He's going to have extra sauce somewhere. Oh, God, this sounds so bad in so many ways. Don't ever say this in public, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the woman who paid a hundred bucks to be choked out by a snake. Yeah. <laughs> totally worth it, though. Totally worth it. Uh, yes. Well, you know what? D12 against me if he has a vat under there. Am I still under my... Nope, you're fine now. I don't know if I want this. Three. Wait, 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 wait. This one. Ten. Sensing a sail, he reaches underneath the bottom part of the wagon and produces an old ceramic jar. Uh, he takes an old metal spoon, gets a heap of this sauce on it, and gently guides it towards your mouth. It's the radish sauce? Mm -hmm. He says it's the special sauce. I'll taste it. Have you ever tasted horseradish? Oh, I love horseradish. Then you'll love this. Because okay. it's a sauce made from radishes yeah, just... on a horse. A horse. <laughs> and that, boys and girls, is where horseradish came from. Nice. There. We're informative as well as sexually offensive. Yeah. She got horseradish. Uh, so, uh, would you, would so you like I, to buy the horse on a stick? Uh, I asked Othello, have you been here in front of the the Mason's Hall for a while? I mean, have you seen them open and then close? How, I mean, how long have they been closed? Do you know? Uh, no, I've, I've just been wandering around trying to sell my wares like any honest uh, businessman does. Do you, do you get, uh, did you get anybody from the Mason Hall to buy anything from you? They've been closed the whole day. The whole day. Okay. Okay. So, 
Uh, you haven't had any problems with money, have you? He jingles his coin purse and says, it's been selling off the stick. <laughs> oh. Okay. I can hoarsely keep up. Right. <laughs> well, he's a half fork. He has, you know, he, he's got joke telling skills like Taryn does. Right. Of course. <laughs> no, it's not puppy meat. It's horse meat. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> so, well, well, thanks. Uh, thanks for the information. And, you know, I'm glad you're doing well with your business. So. Thank you. It's really picking up. That's good. That's good. Uh, where have you been selling a lot of this stuff at? Any place uh, in particular? On the south side of the government office. South side of the government office? Hmm. Okay. Any particular places there or just? Just roaming the street. Got it. Okay. Has he come across any fake coinage? Nope. All his coins jingle. They all jingled. So can we look at the map again? You guys have... Let's go red this time. Uh, you guys started here, moved around the block. Like, like blood. Like a blood trail. It's Skippy Lee's nose. Uh, <laughs> and came to here. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I were Kyle, because we know he's watching, I would complete the drawing as per Kyle, but I'm not going to do that. No, don't yeah. do that. <laughs> so what's PR? Private residence. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, you you know can what? find that in Sneed's Guide to Cacophony. Take not yet published. <laughs> you know, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, so I try knocking on the door to the Mason's Hall. No answer? No answer. Okay. Hmm. It's just like, I, I look at Skippy, how did you end up here? <laughs> I end up at the Mason's Hall. Did they hand you a card saying that said to be one? Ask one. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I found a card. You found the card. Where'd you find the card? Uh, what was it attached to? <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, under some old books and uh, <clears throat> the pawn shop. What Gosh. were you doing at the pawn shop? Well, I just got out of jail and wanted to hawk a few things that I had. Uh, and I thought that would be the best place. Uh, but I seem to have misplaced my pawn ticket. Ticket. Mm. ticket. I have no ticket. ticket. Well, why don't we go check it out then? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, is somebody new running the pawn shop? Is this the same pawn shop uh, that the two sisters that were murdered? No, they're farther south. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, rest in peace. That was the episode where Daphne strapped a dead child to her chest. But oh, a nice <laughs> sexually based scenario is offensive somehow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys want to head across there. Uh, yes. As you reach the prolific uh, prehistoric skull, mm -hmm. uh, Daphne, D6, and I will not accept six. Isn't there a fountain at the skull? Isn't it a no? I've... The fountain's elsewhere. Okay. Uh, ooh. Three religious cultists pushing a wagon full of weapons uh, come by, uh, and on the side of the card it says "Weapons for Cash." <laughs> Skippy <laughs> Lee. Uh, taps Cash Camille. Uh, it says weapons for cash program. Uh, hey, Camille, 
Can I borrow your staff? No. Asshole. It, it's offensive that you don't trust me. Mm -hmm. Do you want to yank the tampons out of his nose and cause him to squeal? Oh, yes. yes Ew, no. it's like probably like dried, bloody, crusted yeah. tampons. Yep. It's gonna <laughs> dried hurt. blood and nose hair. <laughs> As you yank him out, uh, he gives forth a string of profanities that make all of the cultists blush. Uh, and he is hopping mad at you. Zadar, your turn to roll a d6. Or you know what? Roll a d4, because five and six were spoken for. Okay. Uh, two. <sighs> oh, good. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I asked Skippy, did you sell something here last night? No, I didn't sell. I buy. Uh, uh, as Skippy berates you, Camille, and Daphne, as you ponder the scrumptious taste of horseradish, you notice a group of four drunks coming up behind Zadar, uh, and they tap her on the shoulder. Oh, boy. Mm -mm. So, Daph? Me? No, tap Zadar on the shoulder. Oh, okay. So, but Daphne noticed. Okay. Everybody noticed, but you, because you had your back to him. Yeah. All right. Behind you! I turn around. <laughs> the overwhelming odor of mead is permeating from all four of these individuals. They took one look at your Jessica Rabbit-esque features and proclaim you queen lovely queen we are at your service my highness ladies and gentlemen the queen ah uh, the queen are they rugby players uh no they are not singing that thank uh, god song. okay Oh, gosh. <laughs> they just appear to be four drunks, uh, and they start singing, Hail to the Queen. <laughs> what, that's me? <laughs> the Sex Pistols version? Yes, the Sex Pistols version. But okay. they're they're focused on Zadar, so... I'm like, gentlemen, Sorry, thank you for the homage. Um, oh, my liege! Oh, my liege! Uh, you're starting to get a lot of strange looks. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, um, where are you from, gentlemen? <laughs> we are from your serfdom, uh, my highness. I don't know whether to take these guys at face value. Oh, or... mighty queen. We worship in your presence. They're just trash. They're trashed, huh? <laughs> Wait, is it ours, the mighty queen? Yeah, they're, they're worshiping me. He, he's looking like Jessica Rabbit tonight. I didn't know. I mean, are they being sincere or is this just some... some... They're drunk. Yeah. Okay. Get us to sign our card. <laughs> um, let's check their pockets. We're just going to... Well, we can't just well, lightly check their... Well, you, you're the queen. Okay. I would like well, to see what kind of coin you're carrying, boys. Gentlemen, your queen requires coin. Oh, hail to the queen! Hail to the queen! They reach in and they start throwing coins. Uh, copper, silver, and a few gold ones. Any of them bounce? <laughs> uh, nope. All of them make the ringing noise. Oh, okay. So, well, <laughs> seems like these are not the drunks we're looking for, so... Exactly. Take it. It's just, it's just like, I'm done with you. <laughs> Oh, my liege. Yes, my liege. Yeah, out of the way for the queen. Out of the way for the queen. And then uh, you may take your leave. <laughs> oh, we serve the queen. We serve the queen. <laughs> Jeez, this isn't going away, is it? Nope. They're going to follow you. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Out of the way, Peck. Move for your queen. <laughs> Did anybody look at the coins? Yeah, that's what uh, I'm doing. I'm looking at the coins. They are foreign currency. Oh, all the it. same or? All of the same. All foreign currency. Hmm. Is it the same currency from, what was her name? Vesta? Vesta? Vestata. Or... Vestata. 
Astana? It is not. Nor do no. these individuals look like the swarthy Arabians that Prince Vistana looked like. Hmm. And I didn't explain that because I'm not a racist. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it what doesn't Vistana matter. It looks like to me, it's what it looks like in your mind. Mm -hmm. But she, these people do not look like the same people that Vistana would come from. Mm. Okay. Oh, mighty queen, out of the way, peasants. Move for our queen. <laughs> Kind of like Skippy, pick up the coins. <laughs> uh, what coins? <laughs> oh, they're already gone. Okay. He already got them. Of course he he already got them. Of course he did. <laughs> well, that's okay. You're going to pay us with that later. Uh, oh. So we need to get to the pawn shop still. It's right there. Okay, well, let's go in. Oh, Marty Queen, thank you very much. Oh, we cower in your presence. <laughs> Being obnoxious drunks. Wow. Okay. You get to the front door of Prawn's Pawns. Okay, well, you need to stay outside with this train wreck. Uh, thanks. All right. I'll be going. Oh, outside. Marty Queen, we shall protect you with our lives. <laughs> And I look at Camille, I say, this may come in handy, actually. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, Skippy, who is now jingling. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was here. Uh, this, yeah. I, the other tampon's still in there, right? No, you pulled them both. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Daphne, are you going in with uh, Skippy and Camille? Yeah, I'll go in. Uh, Zidar, one of the drunk males... Gets down on all fours. Oh, my queen, I would be honored if you sat upon me like a throne. <laughs> Actually, I obliged. And I'm like you, the other one. You're the foot rest. <laughs> there are a lot of people looking at you. <laughs> uh, inside, Camille and Daphne, uh, as you enter, a brass bell announces your arrival, and you notice the shop has multiple tables loaded down with a variety of items similar to the pawn shops that you have been to before uh a floating eyeball however zips up from under the table looks at both of you uh mm -hmm. and out from the back room you hear a loud female voice yells out returning to the scene of the crime are we Moments later, a spindly woman exits the back room and begins to lambast Skippy Lee. What? This guy causes so much fun. So, uh, I'm not there, so yeah. I'm, I, so, I'm, 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 I'm oh, sitting on my Oh, queen, crown. you are not. You are outside. <laughs> so I asked the lady, what, what did he do? He is a thief. He stole an item from stole? me. Stole? Yes. Stole. Okay. And what did he steal? Oh, I'm sorry. My grammar's not up to your liking, your highness. He stole this. And uh, she produces a <laughs> certificate of association to the Masons Club. He stole your card? Yes. And that was it? He's not a member of the Masons. No, I, I understand this. that, but did it, okay. Have you come across any counterfeit coin? What did you take? Me? And she looks, she looks at Skippy. Yeah, Skippy, what did you take? Oh, Skippy. Nice, nice. You motherfucking liar. What did you take? Uh, the spindly woman looks at odd even for Caitlin or er, Daphne and says, did this little bastard by chance have a small gem about yay big? Whoa. Um, if he did, I've not seen it. Uh, you, you were in riding the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too gay to notice anything. Not, I'm not worried about, I mean, I, I'm sorry that your gem is missing, but I'm talking about coins. 
Right. The gem is the avarice stone. And it turns currency into wobbly, weak coinage. And it was sitting here, and she starts to look around and goes, and it's not here now. Makes currency into fake, makes real currency into fake currency. Yes, heard. it's the avarice stone. Oh, I have a headache now. And Skippy goes, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my God. Can we smack him? I have no Good. idea any of this is going Oh, on. mighty queen! We are worshipping at your feet. <laughs> um, give, give me a wedgie. Because I'm a tiefling. I can be ruthless. Hit him. Yeah? Poor Skippy. What? Skippy. Yeah, fuck him. Um, Once we call this game, I'll tell you what. 14? Oh, yeah. Okay. His testicles slide all the way back to his taint. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well. Ooh! Which is. And I'm like, you the, have that stone on you? Similar to the noises that Daphne well, was we making. Gotta go back to the, we gotta go <laughs> back to the brothel and get it. He doesn't have it on him? No, he gave it to the dominatrix after she beat the shit out of him. Uh, Daphne was not there. Oh, that's she, right. She was getting She was rappelling off. from Mount Lust. <laughs> All right. Well, ma'am, we will try to make this right for you. I would say so if you are his accomplices. <laughs> no, 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 no. Be off with you. Make sure that I get my stone back. Okay, we go out, get to Zadar. Oh, mighty queen! Uh, and, and I asked, uh, did you find uh, anything in, in the pawn shop? We need to go back and get the stone from the dominatrix. Why? Because it turns coins to fake. And he stole it. Zadar, D6! Okay. <laughs> Five. Uh, an elf comes up to you and he a male elf comes up uh, sees the hullabaloo uh, takes a knee at your feet and says your highness I am here to serve you takes out a fish and bam right across the face <laughs> and just like the drunken <laughs> associates Pile onto him, and the five, the collection of five are fighting in the middle of the street. I am not gonna stop this. We got to go. <laughs> we got to go back. And I just, gentlemen, defend my honor, <laughs> and ladies, this way. <laughs> Running, walking. Running. You run by Othello. Last chance to have that. Okay. <laughs> no puppy meat, thank you. You run around the corner, you get to uh, Belinda's Bordello. I get my card out. Stamp my oh, card. You, you've been here before, I see. Yes, yes. Enter. Thank you. <laughs> you guys go in. And what, was yeah. the, what was the dominatrix name? Was it Gabriella? No. Yes. Mm -mm. Gabriella. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Gabriella was who was Daphne's, Daphne's girl. Oh, that's yeah. right. Hmm. Uh, Zadar, uh, Skippy kind of taps you and he goes, Hey, you got about 50 gold I can borrow? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. At this point, uh, how Here comes the magic? <laughs> how? Mm, no, I can't do it. It won't work. Okay. I have rope, right? Oh, yeah. I tie him up. Ooh. Not, How much do I owe you? Not in a good way. <laughs> uh, a crowd has gathered around at the live show that is clearly about <laughs> to happen. Uh, naked males, naked females, uh, even a couple of naked gnomes in there. Maybe even Dibble Thibbet is hanging oh. out uh, because it is a buffet in the back room. <laughs> he has a plate full of shrimp. Ooh, show. <laughs> <laughs> I'd thibble that. 
I tie Skippy Lee to a bench and drag his pants down around his ankles. Oh, wow. <laughs> Seduction? No, they're just puzzled. They okay. want to see what happens next. And yeah. then I go I to put find... it like, wait, 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 wait. As I notice everyone's puzzled, I put like a hat out or like a cup to like collect tips. Mm, nice. Mm. D12 and a D20, Daphne. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I put weird stuff in my thing now, so I have to roll it elsewhere. What? 14? Total? And a 10? Wait, you said D12. You, can, you, you collect 24 gold pieces. Nice. But the crowd wants to see something. Oh, no. <laughs> my dice is just filled with. So you, <laughs> what do you guys want to do? I um, need to go see the dominatrix. I think, um, I said, all right, start spanking his ass. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> just like anybody got a whip. <laughs> About three whips come out of the crowd. Oh, uh, um, uh, yeah. Riding crop, riding crop. There we go. Okay. that. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so I I take I I cast Mage Hand and take the riding crop and start whacking Skippy on the ass with it. <laughs> A light smattering of coins to the tune of seven gold pieces come out. Camille, as you go down the hallway to where the dominatrix room is, the two guards go, Whoa, what are we doing? He's not my associate. Ow! <laughs> You're hitting my testicles! <laughs> However, he um, Let's back paid him again. <laughs> for services with something that is not going to be legal tender. And I would like to remedy that. Persuasion. Nineteen. Thank you. Gives gives the old head nudge, allows you entry. Knock 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 knock. I smack him again. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Miss Dominatrix. Uh, I put 12 my more, twelve more gold pieces fly out. <laughs> I Crap's put my really I put my boot on top of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smack him again. <laughs> I'll, give you another, I'll give you another five gold pieces for that. Uh, busy! I knock and say, um, this is about a lot of money. The door opens. Uh, she appears to be alone. Okay. Madam, I spoke with you earlier. Perception check. Oh, God damn it. You hear another crack again. <laughs> Seven. Or, no, wait. That was the wrong die. No, well, that didn't work. Three. Okay, you don't hear it. Uh, yes, I recognize you. What do you want? I'm in the middle of something. I oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of someone. What do you want? I, I apologize. <laughs> I'm trying to... Um, so, here earlier, when you had the... Uh, what? What is he? Halfling halfling and he didn't have money and the gem fell out of his boot and you took that well that affects all of your other money so in what way it makes it a counterfeit what <laughs> so, she runs over grabs check, a check very your coin purse healthy bag pours it out onto a sheet and you notice the gem is in the middle of a significant amount of coins that appear to be okay. Hmm. 
She goes, it looks fine. Are any of your coins floppy? Yes, they are. How many? The percentage roll. Uh-oh. <laughs> roll low, roll low. That's the no line. shit. 100%. <laughs> Come on. 100. So it's 100, 100. gold? Wow, business has been good. <laughs> it's very good. Good thing you were only gone for like an hour. Yeah. So I've gotten money from the princess and whatever. So I ask, can I take the coin and I'll pay you whatever to replace your coin that's bad? Sure. Do you want my sack? <laughs> well, you're a female. You don't have a sack, do you? The coin purse. Oh. <laughs> um, well, I don't want the money, though, right? Maybe I, it can be reversed. You don't know. I, I, I take it because it could be reversed. Okay. So, Probably. yes, I'll take it, and I, I pay her the money that she's out. She willingly accepts. Give me a perception check. Yeah. You don't hear it. Uh, now get out. I'm busy. Thank you. Thank you, you for got your time. The, uh, all right. Uh, I can't say anything until you come out. So, Zadar, so, take another 13 gold pieces as uh, okay. you continue to beat him senseless. Okay. Uh, Camille emerges holding a rucksack, for lack of a better term. And has given you the I don't know what's going on thing. Okay. All right. And uh, and I reach down to Skippy. I lift his head up. I'm like, good boy. And then <laughs> I turn around. I was like, do a bow. Pick up the coins and then walk on out. <laughs> Seven more gold pieces. Nice. <laughs> we leave Skippy there, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Skippy is now a gimp at the whorehouse. Fall <laughs> <laughs> gag. There, even though we're for mature audiences only, there are descriptors that I will not go ahead and divulge into what happens to him. Uh, let's just say he only is. Only it's not rated. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Later show. Wait, I will. That's the after show. Uh, <laughs> I will refrain from describing what exactly happens to him. Actually, on OnlyFans, if you want to see um, him get into details about the character. Uh, Murder Hobo Inc. OnlyFans. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's where all of our lewd caricatures are at. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do with the bag and the magic gem? Well, we got to get back to the lady and give it to her. Okay. Yeah. Anything you want to ask her? Who? The lady. Why you oh, at the, and so we're already at the pawn shop, right? Yep. Yeah. Is there okay. any way to undo what's been done? D12 against me. <clears throat> Ten. Three. Uh, I suppose you could have a cleric do a remove curse on it. Alright. Do we have a cleric? No. Find one. Can we find one? Oh yeah, there's tons yeah, of shrines there's the, in town. The, Damn, I should have rolled a cleric. There's the cleric that we know. <laughs> the one that owes us the favor for the polter, pesky polter guys. So, should we leave the thing here and bring the cleric here? Uh, I will take possession of the gemstone again. Where is your diminutive friend at? Mm. Ed. He's tied up right now. Okay. He's not allowed in my shop anymore. That's fine. We'll, we'll be sure to convey that to him. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> now, before we go, I ask her, now, the remove curse, is that removes the curse that's applied to the coin. Is that correct? Or does a remove curse have to be applied to the stone? She, oh, you are not removing curse on my stone. Well, that's that's why I'm asking. 
Um, you can you can have this worthless money, but I am taking back my property. So we, we have to take the money. So you yeah. don't give a shit about it. No, that's fine. Okay. And we will call that the end of the scenario. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Caitlin, what'd you think? I'm so stressed about a stone that makes money fake. <laughs> so like what? <laughs> I mean like I could understand a lot of purposes, but also like what? First items are uh, strangely cursed. Mm-hmm. At least you found it, and at least you got it back to the owner. Yeah. I would say that's a success, even though you guys are... How much are you guys in the hole now? I know yeah. that uh, Daphne lost 100 gold, well spent, but... Yeah, Camille, lo Camille lost 100 for the, the funny money, right? And the stone. Yep. Mm -hmm. But, so. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, David, what'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. How much money was in the bag? 100? A hundred. Uh, okay. Yeah, I I say we're we're gonna have to test that theory and find our friend the cleric. <laughs> yeah. So, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny, and oh my god, I wanted to do so many more fun things to Skippy. So there there was the chance of having one d six meowing kittens follow you Aww. around the city. Oh, okay. And whatever, and whatever I rolled, I got the the worshippers <laughs> you got the worshippers the 2d4 plus two drunken peasants approach one of the pcs and start yelling hail to the king or queen and begin to bow and fawn upon the pc nice uh, you miss the uh cart with uh bottled flavored water flavored coffee and small snacks and pastries coffee. and where are the coffee trotters that's right the yeah. elf that slips a fish into one of your pockets opted to just smash you in the face with it. Mm -mm. Then you had Othello the Orc and the religious folks who got their sign backwards that says weapons for cash. Thank you. So, uh, mm -hmm. Carrie, what'd you think? It was good. I enjoyed it. Very good. Uh, folks at home, uh, we're ending a little bit early, uh, <clears throat> which is kind of remarkable. We could Thank have you, Kyle. <laughs> for Kyle's time. Yeah, That's it right. might not have been so intense, but hey, the intrigue was fun. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really sure uh, how it would go, to be honest with you. My hope was that one of you would demand payment up front and all of your money would have been ruined. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but you guys were not nearly as uh, cruel to Skippy as you mm -hmm. could have be, except for Zadar whipping and beating him to within an inch of his life. Hey, that was my <laughs> idea. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I just followed through. <laughs> our group, we're now... I took like, over. <laughs> yeah, we never asked for money up front, our group. Yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> We're adventurers. We're the good guys. So uh, to wit, you whipped and beat your liege. <laughs> right. Well, but hey, liege. your patron. Uh, he hired Skippy you guys. Lee. Yeah, whatever. He's an asshole. Yeah. But, you know, you had to help him. The good news is, had you not been able to figure it out, uh, the looming trade conference would have been a bust. Uh, oh, wow. And I will dangle this tidbit in front of you. I wonder why the four drunks picked out Zadar. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Maybe we find out in a future episode. Uh, <laughs> folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. As the uh, world turns. The Cacophony Saga continues. <laughs> follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to help us out by buying some of our crap, I mean good stuff, uh, the link is down there. If you want to just shoot the shit about D&D, &D, our Discord channel is available for you. And most mm -hmm. importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays, uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, Hit us up, let us know, we will get you on there, give you about two hours worth of fun and entertainment, and mm -hmm. really, who cares? Uh, <laughs> nothing on the line. Uh, points don't matter. Folks, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, don't forget to visit oddfishgames.com. 
who I don't think will make the stinking bordello. Come on, on. Belinda's bordello. Uh, yes. Belinda's bordello. Yes. Come on, please. I, I don't. Please. I, that's that's a hard sell. Seriously, so, please. Uh, Come on. And to, yeah. <laughs> Like tobacco cheap. and perfume. That's that's all it feces. Needs to be. Like no, no, we can that's leave the feces there. behind. <laughs> What'd you say, Caitlin? What did I say? Cheese? Oh, you don't want sewer? All right, cheese, tobacco, and perfume. That would be mm. good. Sense. Cheese. Because like sometimes human sweat and sex and mustard. Like well, you know, they sweat yeah, when their like performance that. is better. <laughs> <laughs> You were just like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Apparently it hit the spot. Uh, folks, thanks again. Uh, let's give a big old wave and we will see you on Saturday when the campaign continues. And ends or they die. That's right. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, uh...